Good morning, Cosette High School. It's time to kick off our annual Maker Fair. All students, please report to your individual sessions. Let's have a great day. Maker Fair is basically a two-day break. At the end of January or the start of February, just to spruce up the third quarter. We know students start to lag a little bit academically. You know, you're indoors a lot, the weather's not been great. It's all dark and the sun goes down at like five o'clock at night and none of us really want to come to school. It's kind of a variety of courses that we might not be able to learn in regular school or when we go to college. There's half day classes, full day classes, and two day classes that you can take. So these are going to be abilities or just little um, skills we are able to take with us to wherever we want to go. Uh, allowing kids to s expose themselves to what is um, outside of high school and what we do in the future. So it's this time to get the community involved and for all of us to come together and do something fun instead of just continuing on with our classwork. Those of you going to tennis, ice fishing, flower arrangement, car maintenance, and fire safety, you need to meet by the back door for the student parking lot. The very first year of Maker Fair, we offered around 45 classes, but now we offer approximately 65 different classes. So this year, our students could take yoga. Remember these victorious arms we put with mountain pose? Essential oils. But once you have that done, then you have your bath bomb, okay? And then this is what needs to dry. Mexican cooking. So how do we Dog training. Oh, good girl. Art of taxidermy. Fencing. Athletic training. You basically have to cover the whole thumb. Jewelry making. And you're going to string both ends of the wire through the next, the second thing. Chess. Calligraphy. It's just fancy writing. You have a special pin that, and you, it's all about how you hold it. Criminology. Taser, taser, taser. <laughs> <laughs> Flower making. Silk screening, Italian cooking. Night vision goggles. So, like you were saying, my name is Staff Sergeant Alazar, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about the night vision goggle. Um, as you can see, it's a binocular; it's not an actual goggle, right? I wasn't like crazy, like, oh yeah, night vision goggles, awesome. But once I got in there, I was like, this is pretty sweet. Basketball 101. Sit. Sit. Art of barbecue. Stop this. It can be a lot here at a party with my awesome ribs or my sweet garlic bread or my awesome Cornish game hen. Flower arranging. Is there like a big centerpiece? Would the foam have to be taller than the vase? I mean, just hide it with all we the We just wouldn't cut the stems as they're short. Okay. My mom told me that I wasn't allowed to take all food classes this year, so I'm also doing event planning so that I can start to get some ideas for my graduation party this spring. We asked all our teachers to share their genius, so kids understand that uh, their teachers are human and they have a lot of other talents. Approximately 75% of our presenters are staff members, and then the other 25% come from COZAD and surrounding areas. My name is Tom Gazinski. I'm the owner of Flowers in COZAD and Dawson Home, also in COZAD. <laughs> I have worked with the Maker Fair for four years. It just opens up kids' opportunities to pursue careers that they might not otherwise know about. It introduces them to just to a, a large variety of people downtown that they might not otherwise meet. And it, it's a break from school sometimes. And, and sometimes that's enough just to make the difference in a kid's day.
boy. Uh, karaoke at lunch is, um, it's a good time. <laughs> So the kids will shovel in their food as fast as they can and run to the auditorium so that they can watch or participate. And well, I think one of the things that has challenged us is to, like every rural community, is to get our best and brightest to return and, and contribute to their community. So we're trying to do things and trying to create some programs maybe that show what the community has to offer and hence we make her fair kind of was a natural fit. Try to expose our students to a variety of jobs and skill sets that uh, would hopefully spur some interest. Maybe not all of them require a four-year college degree and, and that there are opportunities here within our, our community. I have gotten into Notre Dame University, so I'm going to be going there. And I think I'm going to study political science and major in Spanish. After I graduate, the plan is to go to UNK, and I'm going to study to become a nurse, and then eventually work up to become a flight nurse. The classes that I've taken at Maker Faire are going to prepare me for life after high school because they're teaching me how to fend for myself and not just be dependent on my parents. Like I took women's self-defense a couple years ago and I took wrestling for girls. And so I'm not scared to go off on my own because I know that I can defend myself and I know that I can provide for myself because I know how to cook because of efforts like this. Even though the Maker Faire courses aren't in something I necessarily want to be like my profession, they're still good life skills. So the calligraphy that Jake Durr taught us, now I can sign my own graduation thank yous in my fancy script. You know, I've always maintained that growing up in a small town is like the best thing that could have happened to me, especially now that I'm about to go experience something else. And I think that the Maker Fair is one of the great things about COZAD because it shows how much our community cares about us. And that's what I love about growing up here.